Yeah. If Anna says she doesn't know anything, I'm sure she doesn't. Why must there be something to know? If I found out you knew and didn't tell me, I'd be terribly upset. I'd see it as a real betrayal. Don't say that. So you are in on it. Welcome. Evelyn. My hand is complete. Darling. Heavens! We are quite a party. Do you know Lady Anne Ackman? Hello. Mrs. Dupper and Mrs. McVeigh. Anne and I shared a governess, and Jill and I came out together. A oh, small world. And you know Henry Talbot. Yeah. And I think you've met Charlie Rogers up at Brancaster. We've met again since then. This is Mary's brother-in-law, Tom Branson. Hello. You're over here. I shall be lots into your wanting to be a surprise, am I right? A table of singletons at our age. Well done. We're single now. We're all war widows. I'm not a war widow. Good to see you again, Mr. Rogers. You too. Although I haven't been allowed to forget you, Henry talks of nothing and nobody else. Oh, I didn't think you knew enough about me for that. Tell me, are you pleased with your progress this season? I certainly am. We're both driving to Brooklands on the 9th of the next month. In the car you tested in Yorkshire? Exactly. See? We'll get you interested yet. No, you won't. You've got me interested. What well, do you want to come, Tom? I don't get down to London much. Well, you're here tonight. Why not come specially? You could watch it in the pits with the rest of the team. Yes, I think you'd enjoy it. <laughs> I know I'd enjoy it. Mary? Tom, you should go if you like. And what about you? Well, I don't keep my diary in my head. Ask me nearer the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night, then. Shall I get us a taxi? Well, it's such a lovely night. Why don't I walk you back? Where are you based? We're staying with my aunt in Belgrave Square. Perfect. What do you say? I think it'd be nice. Except I have a lot of reading to do, so I might just go straight back. Only if you're sure, Tom. I'm sure. Well, you better be sure. Well, I hope we meet again. Perhaps at Brooklands. You'd have a good time. It's really quite swanky these days. How enchanting you make it sound. Goodbye, Evelyn. You're a darling. Shall we? I hope you will come south next month. Partly to watch me driving, of course, but mainly so that I can see you. And I know you're not interested in racing. It's not only that. I don't know why I haven't told you before now, but Matthew died in a car crash. Yes, I know. Evelyn told me. So you understand? Of course I understand. The car is your enemy, but it's my friend. And all I ask is that you give it a second chance. After all, it's not as if you're driving around in a handsome cab. Hmm. Excellent. Um, in here. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Heavens, Mr. Talbot. Is this part of your plan to convince me? <laughs> Look, you don't have to if you don't want to. Plenty of drivers' wives never go near the racetrack. Wives? <laughs> I only meant that if we do get involved, it doesn't have to be part of the plan. It's not compulsory. But you'd like me there to watch? Yes. But only so I can be near you. Henry, to be honest, this is moving much faster than I'd imagined. Look, I know I'm not what you're after. My prospects are modest at best, and you, well, you're a great catch. But you're also a woman that I happen to be falling in love with. Gosh, that sounds rather feeble, doesn't it? No, not at all. As an argument, I think it's rather compelling. Thank you. <laughs> it doesn't show any signs of stopping. No. Should we run for it? Well, you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Careful. 